All right, this is gonna be a short video on how to use APIs with Python. So I'm going to be using Rapid API and their IMDB 8 uh, API. So what you're gonna to wanna to do first is go to this exact URL, sign in, and then make sure you get to IMDB 8, okay? And uh, grab your API key from there. Copy that API key and you're gonna to wanna to put it in your code right here on line 22 uh, in these quotes where it says X Rapid API dash key, all right? That's just going to make sure that you're authenticated and your connection to their database is secure, all right? Cool, so primarily we're gonna be using requests and JSON here to fetch the information from the API. Um, by the way, this is a Google Colab notebook. They're free to use. Just go to colab.research.google.com, uh, sign in and click uh, create new notebook and you'll get to something like what I have except for blank. So you're gonna to want to put this code in. Uh, I'll have it all linked in the description. So a link to this collab and a link to this API if you wanna use it. Um, so yeah, now that I got that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, this URL right here, it's kind of our base URL. It's gonna go at the beginning of every single query that we make to the API. This is kind of like where the API lives in the internet, okay? We're gonna have some headers that go inside of the request to this uh, API, um, and that's where your secret key is gonna go. That way you can authenticate with their uh, server so that they can give you a response, and a good response, a 200 response. Okay, now, uh, basically the essence of this demonstration is we're gonna have a few search terms, and just like our typing into the IMDB database search bar uh, on their website. I'm gonna be putting search terms into kind of a virtual search bar in my code that will let me search for movies with these search terms in their titles, okay? So this is just a list of those. You could add or delete more of them if you want. I just chose these four. All right, next I'm gonna store all the responses from the API in a list. Right here, I just called it responses, super easy. And now I'm gonna start a loop that gets me through all of my search terms, all right? Now I gotta update the query string. Well, what's a query string? The query string goes uh, alongside of the request to this. So if you think of this uh, URL as that, um, plus the uh, parameters, I think that's how you spell it. Maybe not have an underlined thing there. Um, Basically, it'll be something like a question mark with like some variables like uh, search term. I actually don't know if this is what it is gonna be. And then we'll say equals and then it'll say um, spider. Okay, and then it'll run a search uh, on their API for their movies with the spider in their uh, title. So that's what we're updating here, okay? We're saying go to your list and uh, grab whatever is at this index, okay? So I'm indexing through here. This is index zero, this is number one, this is number two, and this is number three. Yeah, listen, Python start at zero, kind of weird, but um, that's what that's saying. So the first time this loop goes, it's going to be grabbing the first index, which is spider. After that, um, we're going to actually do the query on the API. So this line 37 is actually probably the most important line of code here that you can get. So we're gonna save the response of the request. So when your computer interacts with the API, he says, okay, um, I request this information, okay. And he's gonna wait a little while until he gets something back or it times out. So we're gonna save whatever we get back inside this variable called response. Now uh, request is what we imported up here. Okay, so this is coming from requests. So we're saying request.request. .request. This is a get, okay? Uh, if you learn more about APIs in, in another video or another class, then you'll learn what the other versions of that are. Here's our base URL, okay, that we talked about a little while ago. Here's the headers that go in the request. And then here's the parameters that it's, that it's gonna put at the back of this URL, okay? And that is my query string, which like we said earlier, Q, uh, that's just something that the API wants. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head what Q means. I think it means to search. And then here's that search term. So we could actually replace this with just spider and just query one thing, okay? Uh, and query that a bunch of times. But we wanna query all those, we're gonna put that there. 
All right, so that just makes sure that the API knows what you want it to do. All right, that's all this line of code does, and it goes and gets the response and saves it. Cool. So now uh, that response comes in the form of JSON. Okay, now JSON um, stands for JavaScript Object Notation, I believe, and uh, it's just a easy way to pass data around on the internet. Um, comes back in a format that if you printed it, it would look basically exactly the same as if you printed a dictionary in Python. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're going to uh, we have response here, which has a few different um, parts. But if we say response.txt, then we'll get the the body of that response in a JSON format. And and it's a JSON format because we know that this API responds with JSON format responses. Okay, so I'm gonna use JSON.loads to load up that JSON into this thing I call data, all right? And then, so that's readable, if I ever wanted to debug and like print this out, uh, I added this in here, we just can we just use JSON.dumps and we take that raw JSON data variable, indent equals four to make it look good, save it in formatted JSON, and then you can uncomment this line of code to print it out and see what all that JSON looks like from the response in a nice format. If you comment out this line and just print out data, you can see it's pretty hard to, to read. So I always like to make it look good with this. All right, cool. So now that the JSON all formatted and looking good, um, we can uh, turn it into a dictionary, okay? So, and this is an actual Python dictionary. So we'll take that formatted data, use loads, we use loads instead of load because we already have the text here in the program. We would use load if we were reading from a file um, and just save that in, I called it data dict, okay? So uh, just common abbreviation in Python. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to save that information from this queries dictionary that I created um, in my responses list, okay? And the key for the most important data that I care about is in D, so or is D, okay? And if you print out this formatted data, you'll see that D is associated with uh, the title and the image and the year it came out and I think maybe the lead actor um, of the show. Okay, so after this part, you've uh, you've queried and you've uh, formatted your data and created a dictionary and saved the important stuff in responses. All right, cool. So that loop's gonna go for as many search terms as you have here. Now we just wanna print out the results. This is pretty self-explanatory, but I'll just briefly walk through it. We're gonna loop through all of our search terms again, which honestly isn't the best idea. We should probably loop through responses instead, but uh, there should be a response for every search term. So hopefully we're good there. We're gonna loop through there and then just print out the search term that we use, so spider, like right here in my response, you can see search term spider. And then these are all the movies uh, that it responded with, okay? And a, and a like image that goes along with it. So for No Way Home, it gave me this. Let's go ahead and just open that up. We can see what it looks like. Cool, we got this awesome tide, er, cover page. Um, we can come down here, so it queried Iron Man. Let's see what this first one is. Awesome, yeah, I like that one. Cool. So, uh, yeah, I just loop through there and print those out. Now, I use a try and accept because sometimes what you'll find is the API actually doesn't always have information that all the videos have. So sometimes, basically, there's missing information. Now, if I try to query it, like I right here, but it, I doesn't exist in the dictionary, well then, uh, the code's gonna break and the program's gonna end and I won't get past, I don't think I'll get past, oh yeah, here's an example. So uh, the sexy swimsuit spectacular. Don't know why that came up in the Iron Man search, but it did and uh, there's no image. I'm kind of glad there's no image for that one, to be honest. So, and then it would just break after that. Now we never get to Avengers or Star Wars. Uh, let's check out our Clone Wars. Yeah, all right, cool. So that's what that's doing, is just making sure that my program continues to go even if anything in here breaks. Okay, cool. So in about 10 minutes, that is how you use an API in Python. Uh, go ahead and leave any comments down below. Uh, I'll try to get to them and help you guys out. 
if you find any other cool APIs that you like, go ahead and put those in the comments too, because I always love to share um, API ideas with others. All right, cool. Hope you found this enjoyable or useful, and I'll see you next time.